Haldwani Uttarakhand clashes erupted following the demolition of the madrasa believed to be illegally constructed. The municipal authorities conducted the demolition leading to confrontations with locals who opposed the action. Violence ensued as protesters threw stones at police officers, set vehicles on fire, including a police car and allegedly fired at the police. The situation escalated prompting the imposition of a curfew. The question stands how far is this aimed at? Hi everybody, the chief minister issued shoot at sight orders in the affected area and announced the closure of schools. The police along with additional forces intervened to restore order. The DGP confirmed injuries among police personnel and officials but reported no casualties. The demolition was conducted after prior notice to residents but it triggered a violent reaction from some locals. Certainly, one of the most pertinent questions is what were the underlying social political tensions or factors that lead to violent reaction from the local residents? How did these expenditures impact the municipal budget and overall fiscal health of the region? The underlying socio-political tensions and factors that lead to the violent reaction from the local residents following the demolition of the madrasa in Haldwani Uttarakhand are likely multifaceted and may include several key elements. Number one is religious and cultural sensitivities. The demolition of the religious institutions such as madrasa can deeply affect the sentiments of the local community, especially if it is perceived as an attack on the religious belief or cultural identity. Number two is perceived injustice or discrimination. The local residents may feel that they are being unfairly targeted or marginalized by the authorities, leading to a sense of resentment and defiance. Number three is lack of communication and consultation. If the demolition is carried out without proper consultation or transparency with the affected community, it could exacerbate feelings of the mistrust and alienation. Number four is historical grievances. There may be underlying historical grievances or unresolved disputes between different social or religious groups in the area, which could contribute to heightened tensions during such incidents. Number five is economic disparities. Socio-economic disparities and lack of opportunities in the region could also fuel frustration and discontent among the local population, making them more prone to participating in the act of protest or violence. Number six is political factors. Political interests and affiliations may also play a role in shaping the response of different groups within the community, with certain factions seeking to exploit the situation for their own agenda or gain. And number seven is perception of heavy-handedness by authorities. If the response from the authorities such as the imposition of curfew and shoot at sight orders is perceived as excessive or disproportionate, it could further inflame tensions and escalate the situation. Regarding the impact of these expenditures on the municipal budget and overall fiscal health of the region, it would depend on various factors such as the scale of the clashes, the extent of damage to public and private property, the cost incurred for law enforcement and security measures, and potential compensation or rehabilitation efforts for affected individuals or communities. These expenditures could strain the municipal budget, diverting resources away from other essential services and infrastructure projects. In the long term, they may also have implications for the overall fiscal health of the region, potentially leading to budget deficits, increased borrowings or cuts in essential services to compensate for the unexpected expenses incurred during the unrest. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.